All right. Sneaky Freak said, I don't get why people uh, want to speak on people they don't know at all. Not whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a consecrator. I, would, I completely understand why they want to do it. I completely understand. You get money from it. Like, yeah, so don't get it twisted, bro. You can, that nigga had an hour long video on me. My name is enough for him to get views. So an hour long video, even if he only gets like 10,000 views, he can get some good money off that. I'm not going to hold you. So yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I definitely understand. All right, let's go ahead and get it started with this. Jamal Reeve, new video on this nigga Sneeko. This bitch ass nigga Sneeko. He got humbled. Let's go ahead and check this video out. And y'all already know we talked about Sneeko, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all you remember, you know what I'm saying? The nigga got ignored by Kai and Speed. Shout out to them niggas for doing that shit during Black History Month because this bitch ass nigga want to talk about name five beautiful black women. I'm a part of the Pog Patrol now. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. So at this point, it has been over a year since Sneeko went full red pill demon. and He really did, bro. He became a straight weirdo. Y'all don't understand, bro. Look, man, I used to always say shout out to Sneeko. Sneeko had good ass content, bro. Idaquan, you better be careful what you say just in case you run into Sneeko in person. Who knows what he might do to you, you know. Just looking out for you, you know, since apparently you weren't like that at the Art Institute of Washington. Do you really think I would have to worry about Sneeko? I'm talking about there's people in the chat that really met me. There's people in my real life that really know how I really get down. You really think I'd have to worry about a nigga like Sneeko? You really think, bro, you would if you think I wouldn't just slap the life out of this nigga, you got me too fucked up, bro. If you think that I just wouldn't slap Where's the, the life out of this nigga. Where's the N-words? And GTA Scarface DSG, thank you for the seven months, my nigga. Appreciate that, bro. I was banned from YouTube. The nigga said I hop. So we ain't going to bring up the IHOP shit, but let's just say this, right? Before you try to say, uh, I'd be worried about Sneeko. So with the IHOP shit, for people who don't know, it was basically four niggas that tried me in IHOP. And uh, niggas told me to shut the fuck up. So I went to see what them niggas about. And I told them, because I'm like, yo, I'm by myself. Why y'all acting like bitches? Fight me. I, like, that's, that's the type of nigga I am in person. Four niggas, they didn't want to fight me. So... I went to the car and got some shit to just make niggas want to go outside and fight me. That's it. And uh, yeah, there's that. So shut up with your feminism. Yeah, come here. Come here. And while at first he was still he going. He really became so weird, bro. He had such good content, man. Being semi-viral and was garnering some new fans. I think the situation where he threatened Charlie, aka Moist Critical, was very damaging to his overall reputation online. He you really had good food. content, bro. What you have there is not... Girthmaster said, when did he have good content? What the fuck? Do you uh, do you not know Sneeko before he got banned off of every platform? That nigga had some good-ass content. You're tripping if you don't know about his good content. Nah, Girthmaster, so you didn't know. That's why. Bro, he had some really good content. What? Sneeko used to actually... Talk about a lot of things going on in the world and stuff like that. And he didn't focus on red pill shit and saying stupid shit like women belong in the kitchen. He wasn't saying stupid shit like that before. He had really good content. Insightful. He was very insightful. But now, I don't know what's up with him, bro. He just on some weird shit. Clips. These are mags. Also, going viral for getting cucked is a tough place to be when you were constantly trying to preach to other men about how they should live their life. Like missionary. Like that is crazy. And everybody who don't know, this is Sneeko's story that he can't seem to, you know what I'm saying, live down. Legs up. up. Legs up, yeah. Oh, no. That's such an old no. He can't get past this. Her, like, in her eyes? Yeah, like deep eye contact. Oh, no. Deep eye contact. For anybody who don't know, he's talking about deep eye contact while his girl is getting fucked, donkey fucked by another man. I'm like, like feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It's a lot. It's a lot. To, I th but I think it's something everybody should do. This is the nigga giving people advice, and that's the advice he's giving people. Man, if you don't shut your bitch ass up. Just to test. No! I know. You know what? You know no! what? I, I think Combine this with constant posting onto Twitter, basically trying to rage bait people with whatever. I ain't going. Wow. I loved his old content. His editing was on some next level some shit. Some Outlandish statements popped into his brain that day. And the gimmick. 
I had, to, I had to get that off the screen. Yo, hard and ready, nigga. Thank you for that gifted. He really did have good content. Y'all don't understand. Yo, Sneeko, it wasn't just the fact that it was insightful. Y'all don't understand. Bro, it was the fact of how much effort he put into the content. Bro, for anybody who don't know, Sneeko, bro, when I tell you, he had this one video where he was like cutting his hair. And the video was, it was like, from when he was like 15 to when he was like 17. The fact that you're able to script out a video like that, you don't understand the mental capacity it takes to even think of some shit like that, bro. Dog, that was crazy. This nigga's talking to himself like two years later. Like, I've never seen that. I'm like, what the hell? Bro, y'all don't understand. He had some really good content. Bro, he was a good ass content creator. He just became weird once he got into that red pill shit. And that, no, no, no. Since he wanted to be like Tate. As soon as he wanted to be like Tate, he just fucked up. He tends to get old pretty quick. You also cannot forget the time that he essentially called all of his viewers losers and straight up admitted to pandering to the red pill community from- I remember when he said that. He, bro, look at this. You don't, you don't see me talking shit about neons. You see me talking shit about the base neons and the niggas that focus on the fact that they're not getting women so they research it and they focus on other men getting them. You don't see me constantly harping on niggas in here and saying shit like, nah, y'all niggas don't get no bitches, man. Fuck y'all. But nigga, I'll sit there and joke about it because that's what we say in DSG. And then what happens? I try to help niggas get women. This nigga has said so many times that he don't even like the, the perfect cell community. Nigga, that is like his target audience at this point. Who the fuck is watching Sneeko to get bitches? Like dead ass. Who is watching Sneeko? Social media shit get into niggas. It really do though, Cloud D. Like nigga, this social media shit really get the niggas, bro. But think about this though. If I'm being honest, why not infiltrate the neons? Hey, DSG, for everybody who don't know, why not? Can we really fault Sneeko for doing it? Why not be a grifter? Think about this, everybody. You know what the neons are doing? Saving their money. Beating their dicks every day. Free free porn and shit like that. Why not infiltrate the people who are hermits? They stay in the houses all day and beat their dicks and don't do anything. They don't interact with women or anything. They have money. Why do you think Sneeko was able to get 10,000 subs? Bro, when Sneeko was on YouTube, Sneeko was thriving. That nigga Sneeko at least made, what? No, no, no. <laughs> That's how stupid this nigga was. Look, bro, you know me. I ain't going to fuck up, you know what I'm saying, my my uh, source of income. His first $100,000 a month, <laughs> he got his dumb ass banned. The fuck are you thinking, Sneeko? You fucking retard. You dumb as shit. His first $100,000 a month on YouTube, he got banned. <laughs> and then over there talking, yo, YouTube won't give me my money. Of course they won't. <laughs> the fuck? What did you think was going to happen, bro? The fuck? Like, bro, his first $100,000 a month you get it. You think I'm stupid enough to do that? Come on, bro. My nigga Underground Zone said, prime example is red pill women. Uh, they always say uh, women at fault. Like, uh, they're not women. They're not at women themselves. Uh, always get donations from men. You talking about like pearly things. S tier bag fumbler right there. Yeah. No bullshit, bro. No bullshit. Damn, Where's bro. the N-words? Nigga, that nigga fumbled the motherfucking back, Kazama. Yo, bro, we was actually talking about you earlier, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but shout out to my nigga Kazama with the with the 10 months. They said, hold on, let me do my ad workout before I come back. I yes, bet, bro. Yes, we can fault him, WTF. We have morals and ethics. Money won't ever control my morality and ethics. It won't, right? But money at a certain scale. It will control a lot of people. Like, if we're being honest here, bro. Think about this, right? If I could infiltrate them neon niggas, if, like, I don't, just, just so we are clear. If I had 10,000 subs on Twitch, 10,000 subs is at least about 50,000 a month. You think I wouldn't? Be a grifter like Sneeko. Now, granted, I do have self-respect and everything like that. I'm not going to do that. But I'm just saying. 50000 a month, my nigga? I'm like, bro, for everybody in who don't know, right? Think about 
how much you get paid at your job. And if you don't have a job, think about the jobs that you're going for and think about how much you'd get paid an hour. Now break down $50,000 a month and see how much that is per hour. And you tell me, if you wouldn't be like, yo, you know what, bruh? I might have to talk some shit to these neon niggas, bruh. I might have to say bitches belong in the kitchen. For money and clout. The red pill is uh, is dying. It's over. And I got in at the right time. You you are literally got in at the right time? Oh, I ain't hear this one. I'm hit the wave at the right time. You know, I was I was red pill raging when the red pill was. Nigga, you walked into Charles Barkley and said women belong in the kitchen. And he had to tell you, chill. He had to tell you to calm your ass down. What the fuck are you talking about? It was blown up, so it was perfect. This just happened yesterday, two days ago. No scream at a camera. Wake up! Wake up! And then you guys kind of get off on just seeing people like owning. Li it's like when you're 14 and you watch Ben Shapiro owns. Li oh, oh, you mean oh, you mean like you, right? When your 14 year old fans walked up on you and said they hate women, and and cheered for it, right? You mean that, right? Is that what you mean, Sneeko? Because there's videos of that. For anybody who doesn't know, just look up Sneeko uh, meets his fans or Sneeko's, uh, uh, Sneeko kids hate women. Bro, nigga, 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 fuck that. We're going to pull it up right now. Fuck the bullshit. I'll find it. Look at this, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's right here. It's right here. What? Sneaker, ain't that ain't that you and your fans? Fuck this nigga is so excited to say fuck women. Fuck the women, fuck the women, fuck the women. <laughs> and don't get it twisted, this ain't the only one. No, no, no. <laughs> We're gangster and then and then and then that wasn't it. That wasn't just it, everybody, if y'all don't know. Fuck the, fuck the women, fuck the women. What? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, wait, wait, wait. We love women. We love women. We love women. What? Not, not like transgender. Yes, sir. We love everybody. No, no. All gay men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preach. Preach. Look at his face. Look at this slinger, bro. <laughs> yeah, for the people who don't know, there were people saying fuck women and everything like that, bro, because of Sneeko. And and Sneeko's over there with OnlyFans girls and everything like that, but he got these kids saying fuck women. It's like, it's like not even anything improving about it. It's just uh, WWE for nerd incels. <laughs> That's your audience. Do you think that same kid that just said fuck women, fuck women, fuck women, do you think he's going to grow up to not be a neon? Everybody in here, don't you think that is literally the prime example of a neon or a, or a child that's destined to be a neon? You're screaming, fuck women, and you are, like, proud. He is very proud of it. Fuck women, fuck women, fuck women. A child at that. <laughs> so for the most part over the last year, Sneak... This nigga got... Man, I'm trying to tell you how weird this nigga is, bro, being a... He tr he's literally trying to f be Tate, bro. You're not Tate, my nigga. Be yourself, bro. What the fuck? Oh, has been losing relevance. Like, the like he literally did. Ev he's trying to do every single thing that Tate is doing, bro. He has been in the news cycle once again, and he doesn't seem too happy about it, as he's constantly been getting ignored by other content creators. And this ignore. I love to see that. No bullshit. When I tell you niggas, I've watched that video at least a hundred times. I get you to but personally, I would never let money control what I stand for. That's something that I'm I can never allow everybody myself is like to that, happen. Bro. I'm Maybe saying it's different most people for others, would, though. Especially after I got wronged for money. Bro, it's most people. You have to understand, bro. Look, most people would do that for money. Especially money that you couldn't even imagine. Money that you never, you know what I'm saying, even dreamed of. You have to think about it. If, I, if you're at a job working and you're making $22 an hour, and I tell you for $23 an hour, would you grift like that? You wouldn't do it. But if I told you, you can go from $22 an hour to $500 an hour, you're going to be like, yo, you know what? Um, I mean, let me at least think about it. Now, I'm not saying that you would, Demir, because of course, you know, you wouldn't. But most people are going to definitely do it. And if they won't, they at least think about it. Or Sneeko Arc all really started a couple of days ago. 
when he tried to approach Steve will do it at the poker table. And this was different. So Steve will do it actually clarified this. So, um, yeah, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Speak on this and speak ignorantly of this because I know the context. Um, so before this, Steve will do it actually talk Sneeko and everything like that. And after he talked to him, but during this, Steve will do it said the reason why he didn't talk to Sneeko is because he was down tens of thousands of dollars while he was gambling and he didn't want to talk to anybody. So I do want to say that. So, you know what I'm saying? So we can't act like Sneeko was just straight up getting ignored by him. That is the context behind it. And Steve seemingly wanted nothing to do with him. My hair. Can I get a cig this? cigarette? Oh. Are you chain smoking? Or? Oh. Yeah. Can Sorry. I get one too? Oh. Sorry. Damn, man. Because I'm on Rumble or something? <laughs> What's your problem? Man? Now, I'm not going to hold you. This is why I don't like hanging around people who got too much money. Because, like, I ain't going to lie. This, this, this is like behavior of someone who is like of status. I'm not gonna hold you. Definitely of like high financial status. They be acting like this. Yeah, Dr. Apothecon, they look down on you, facts. They definitely look down on you. That's why I couldn't hang out with them because they will do this. But it's just like, say, for instance, a regular nigga is not gonna just sit there and ignore you like that. But I'm not gonna lie. If I'm down tens of thousands, I've never gambled in my life. I ain't gonna really want to talk to anybody. I'm a, but but he did acknowledge this dude when he spoke, and he didn't acknowledge Sneeko. But yeah. So you can see it there, clear as day. Steve just straight up ignores him. He acts like Sneeko is not even in the room, and I think this broke Sneaky's little heart. It it actually didn't. Like I said, after I saw the context behind all of this, I got to see that it didn't really matter to Sneeko or Steve. So. Yeah, yeah, like I said, Steve clarified it. So I'm not, I'm not just gonna sit on, here, sit on here and fake it. So. I don't know what's going on. Hey. It's like he very subtly told him to fuck off just with his body language. After all, this now, if I didn't know this, if I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, the context behind all of this, I would definitely agree with Jamari, but I know. Shit. Big. Okay, I'm bored. Eight. No, I'm good. That's a, a lot telling me not to smoke. You just asked for. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad this nigga called Sneaker out. I know, I know. Nigga, why are you at? That's what I'm saying. Niggas be faking shit. You're not a fucking Where's Muslim, bro. Words? Nigga, Junior 412. Thank you for the prime 28 months, my motherfucking nigga, Junior 412. Thank you, bro. Bro, you're not even a real Muslim. Nigga go. Yo, DSG. Peep how stupid this nigga is. This is what I'm saying about niggas just lying and faking the religion. That's why you don't see me faking religion. This nigga just asked for a cigarette. And then when Steve will do it, ignored this nigga. This nigga said, yeah, Allah told me not to smoke. Nigga, you're not a fucking Muslim, bro. I don't get these niggas, bro. I, man. Oh, that was, so, so that's a sign from, from Allah. And it's funny to me that he says that's a that sign Steve from Allah. ignoring his request for the cigarette is a sign from Allah that he shouldn't smoke. Yeah. When in reality, your heart of ready, nigga. Thank you for that gift, my nigga. It's more of a sign that Steve isn't fucking with him. And this is the point in the video where, from my perspective, Sneeko actually took a rare W. As All right, yeah, because I'm not going to lie. I did like seeing Sneeko get his ass whooped right here, but I ain't going to hold you. He got his ass whooped by a UFC fighter. For everybody over there talking shit about Sneeko, my nigga, before you talk shit, I ain't... See, look, y'all see... This is what I mean about being a real nigga. I can't even just hate on Sneeko. This is Like, bro, first of all, he got in the, the ring with a UFC fighter. Fuck out of here. You can't just sit there and be like, oh, yeah, he got his ass whooped. Nigga, you would've got your ass whooped, too. Fuck is you talking about? At least he had the heart to do it. At least he got the heart to get his ass whooped. A lot of you niggas wouldn't even do that shit because you bitch-ass niggas. Straight up. It is what it is. You know damn well you a whole whole out here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, shout out to Sneeko for getting in the ring and doing that, but I did like seeing him get his ass whooped. But at the end of the day, I'd have got my ass whooped too, nigga. That's a fucking UFC fighter. As he went into the octagon nigga, the dog with mask. former middleweight UFC champion Sean Strickland as they had set up this sparring session and for the first couple of- See? Yo, uh, Cybernetico said, I'm scared of pain. At least you real about it. I, look, I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing that kept me, you know what I'm saying, from getting hurt in fights because I'm scared of pain. Like, I ain't really, I'm not scared of pain because I got punched in my shit, but I'm scared of losing my teeth. I'm scared of getting a black eye. 
I've never gotten a black eye and I've never lost my teeth. I've had a bloody lip and I've had like bloody gums and shit from a nigga punching me and he ain't make my lip swell, but he, he punched my, uh, like right here. You know what I'm saying? But he, uh, he made my gums bleed and shit. But yeah, you feel me? I, I'm not going, I'm not going to hold you. I'm scared to lose my teeth. I love my teeth. Nigga, you don't think I love these motherfuckers, bro? The fact that I don't have to give veneers, I love these motherfuckers. You don't think I'm scared to lose them? I'm scared to lose them, nigga. I'm scared to get in a fight and have to walk around with a black eye. I'm scared to have to walk around with a big ass fucking, uh, I'm scared to get my nose broken. You do realize you can get your nose broken if they hit, uh, what's the, what, whatever this bone is, this bone is, and if they drive that shit up, you can die. Like, niggas don't know about shit like that. You can die from a fight. My nigga, I'm scared of shit to get hit. That's the reason why I defend myself the way I do. Whatever that bone is called. And you right there and die. Don't nobody like pain. All these internet niggas talking ish about Sneaker would never have done what he did. That's what I'm saying. And I'm not going to sit there and lie about it. That's why I tell you the truth. It is what it is, man. Sneaker, he at least, he did have the heart to get in the ring. But it was, it was soothing to see him get his ass whooped. The minutes... Sean just yeah, Lord Ketsu, nigga, all it take is this. Nigga said a palm strike to the nose. Nigga, all it take is this. That's it. Bro, y'all don't understand. Niggas be going for this. Nigga, if you just hit a nigga right there, boom. Nigga, unconscious, bro. That's all you got to do is just literally just. Bro, when y'all saw me hit that, uh, that, uh, whatever that boxing thing is, bro, I hit it like this because that's how I learned the karate, right? I don't fight like that, but I'm just saying. If I were to hit someone like that, I can easily actually you know what i'm saying have some real force behind it because of the way you you know what i'm saying drive your fist into somebody but yeah nigga if you squint and hit that motherfucker nigga, all you gotta do is this i'm karate works but it's like you gotta you have to either be super fast or you know you the nigga just gotta stand there but for real if you like this and you hit a nigga like this and they nose right there you knock the nigga unconscious real quick bro just really let Sneeko do his thing. Just kind of playing a very loose thief. Yo, Saros, the guy said, uh, yo, uh, yo, the average person can't fight. You're not lying. Most niggas can't. And not even just the fact that most niggas can't fight. The average person is scared to fight. But at the end of the day, we shouldn't be going around trying to fight people. But at the end of the day, I feel like men, we should be prepared for violence. You have to as a man. I'm always prepared. The only thing I don't like is the fact that my daughter is scared of what I would do. She don't like telling me certain things because she just scared what I do. Like, I forgot where we was at not too long ago. And a nigga did something. And I was like, and she was, no, no, no. I was like, yo, chill, chill, chill. I was laughing. But the reason why I laugh, because I know what I do. Knowing what I will do and knowing how far I'm willing to take it always keeps me from doing it. A nigga did something. And I was just, no, he got in front of us. And look. When a nigga got in front of us, we over there looking at something in Walmart. The nigga got in front of us. I just looked at my daughter. I was like, she's like, daddy. And I was like, I was like I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I just start laughing. But she was scared because she knows me. And I would have, like, I ain't going to lie. The old me, before I had kids, nigga, I know you saw me here, bro. The fuck is you doing, nigga? But that's the thing. That was the old me. I had no problem just grabbing this nigga. You, I'm going to remove that nigga. But now, the, you know what I'm saying? The, the father, I can't do that shit. I have kids, bro. But yeah, nigga, I'm always prepared. I'm prepared for every last situation, nigga. It don't matter what I'm in. I'm all, why you think when I got jumped by 15 niggas, I ain't ended up on the floor? Nigga, I was prepared for that shit. I thought I was about to die. I was scared of shit. I thought I was about to get killed. I was like, yo, what the fuck, nigga? I'm backing up. I'm like, these niggas about to whoop my ass, bro. Yes, KO, 15 niggas. And the only reason why I know it's 15 niggas because the nigga I was with said it was 15. And I said, nigga, so you ain't jumping? He said, nigga, it was 15 niggas. <laughs> and I was like, ah, right, you right. I'll let you have that. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yo, Mars Bar said, how you could jump by 15 niggas? Because I said what's good to my own nigga. I literally said what's good, nigga. And, and, but they didn't be like honest, my jacket. I at least respect Sneaker for at least getting in the ring with all of the stuff he was talking to people like That's why Mikey Simony. But still, he needs to train some more. I'd be willing to do some meat work or sparring with Sneeko, but he got to learn to control his ego. Hey, DSG. So before I get to say it, <laughs> the nigga, the nigga that said, the nigga that said he gonna take his friend out, get him drunk, and destroy him, just said he want to do some meat work. He want to do some meat work with Sneeko. <laughs> 
There's no way that's real. There's no way that just happened. What do you mean by me? What? <laughs> like, for real, bro. The fuck is he talking about, bro? This, this is coming from the same nigga. This is coming from the same nigga, bro. Greased up. <laughs> he trying to grease that nigga, bro. Nigga trying to do some beat work. This is coming from the same nigga that got his friend drunk and destroyed him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, there's no way you want to do some meat work with Sneeko now. Kazama, we told you it's a fruit, a whole fruit, and nothing but a fruit, so help you God, and you just proving us right. What? You about gay hell? Fuck, this thing is gay as shit. Kazama, when are you going to say to something that don't sound gay? Because, my nigga, right now, you about a whole fruit ninja. I'm not going to hold you, bruh. That was gay as hell. The nigga want to do some meat work? You want to do some meat work with Sneeko? Man, what? Well, Y'all better sneak off and go do that with each other, man. Gay yeah, ass nigga, man. Fuck wrong. Let's think because I'm about gay yeah, hell, nigga. So, we really not going to act like I ain't post my boxing exploits in the Discord? Kazama, you want to do meat work? I ain't even going to watch that. He ain't doing no meat work. He boot to work his meat. <laughs> That's meat work. Kazama, I ain't about to watch those. <laughs> Your heart already, nigga. Thank you for that gifted, bro. Yo, Kazamba, what make you think I'm about to watch that? You think I'm about to watch you? Straight gay. Film Actors Guild. <laughs> you know it, bruh. Dog, that's your fault, though, Kazama. Why you gotta say shit the way you do, bro? Yo, what up, Blossom? Yo, the fuck he mean by that bullshit? Fuck wrong with him. I don't know. Bro, about gay as hell, man. Nah, no bullshit. Yo, Kazama, I know what you meant, but like, still. I ain't gonna lie. The way that donation read it was so fucking perfect. I'm glad it didn't read mitt work. Because I know what he meant. I'm not gonna lie. I know what he meant. He said mitt work. But that shit said meat work. And I'm glad it did. I'm so glad it did, bro. No bullshit. Yo, somebody clip that. Because that's something that definitely can go on TikTok. Yo, I'm so glad it said that, bro. No bullshit. I'm so glad it said meat work instead of mitt work. Fence, I mean, you guys got to remember, this is essentially a novice versus a world champion, at least in some sort of fighting sport. So he stands in, he lets Nico do his thing for a while, and then around three minutes in is when Sean actually decides to let the hands fly, and he... Just like uh, Jizzle was doing a Cosmilk. That nigga Jizzle worked, that nigga Cosmilk. I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. Bro, Jizzle fucked that nigga up. Meat work? Or you trying to work his meat? You bad gay as hell, boy. Yo, as a blind man, half a fruit. A yo, off season Chiefs player. That's the gayest thing I ever heard. Bro, the fact that you always say that, yo, this nigga just the dog, but always bringing up the fact that there's niggas in here who say gay as shit than him and he's bi. Yo, bro, that's crazy. This nigga said as a bi man, half a fruit, bro. This nigga called himself a half a fruit, bro. Yo, shout out to Justin Dogwood for keeping it a band, though. Nigga, nigga said half a fruit, bro. He essentially punches Sneeko <laughs> in the sick, face nigga. around 50 bro. times. An off-season Chiefs player is crazy. There you go. Oh. Sneeko blocking too much. All he doing is looking for openings. This is how you know he know, he know what he's doing because he knows Sneeko ain't going to do anything but block. Bro, any any person who uh, who does MMA would see all of this open and be like, yo, I got to take my shot. First of all, y'all already know Floyd. You know what I'm saying? He ain't an MMA fighter. But Floyd? Come on, bro. Nigga, this nigga would have got his ass dogged by Floyd, bro. Floyd would have been dodging every last... Floyd would have been over there like... Man, you done yet, bro? Hell, which you ugly bro. are. Now, Wait, but have you seen the Deadpool trailer? There's no way you asked me that or something like like I posted the trailer reaction earlier, bro. On the gamer channel. It's up ascending. And it's stuck, bro. Ooh, that was a nice one. I like that one. That one right. He about to hit he about to hit him with a nice one. Soon as Sneeko turn his face the other way. Ooh. Boom! Yes! That's right there! Ooh, that was a nice one. I like that. I like that. I like that. I mean, this was essentially. Hey, shot the Sneeko, nigga ain't even fall. He's getting hit by a person who, who is trained to punch. For anybody who don't know, when you learn how to throw a punch, like y'all don't understand, bro. The power that you learn to like harness from throwing a punch properly. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, bro. Like I said, I learned from karate about punching through people. And I'm not going to hold you. If I'm able to just go like this 
Of course, and that it's not going to work. It's only in karate. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm able to do this and hit you, I'm not going to lie. You definitely going to feel that motherfucker. If I'm able to go like this and then, and that's without my hip, because that's in karate. I'm not using my hip. But, but if I'm fighting and I'm able to get up, you know what I'm saying, on you, bro. Now that's, nice, you know what I'm saying, nice little body shot. You feel me? Boom, right up there in the face. You feel me? But look, when you move with that motherfucker, say for instance, when I hit that punching thing, niggas saw me do this. This is all you saw me do. Like that. I didn't put my hip into it. Bro, if I wanted to put my hip into it, I would have thrown a hook like this. I didn't throw a hook because I don't like doing that. And plus, I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, throw out all my real power. Why would I do that? Them liver shots go crazy. Yes, girth master. I'm not going to lie. You hit a nigga in his body. When you hit a nigga in his body and knock the wind out of him. <sighs> shit. What up, official uh, 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 official Bree Blunt? I'm doing really good. How are you doing? Yo, uh, uh, I already said, uh, so you breaking boards and shit? Yes, bro. I've done it. What up, Dolo7NG? Yeah, I've, I've broken boards. I had to do that shit. Like I said, why do you think I learned how to punch in karate? In karate, it was like this. Look, in boxing, you like this. Then you throw your hip into it. In karate, you can be like this and punch through someone. So in karate, it was more so like this. <clears throat> like that. You throw that motherfucker like this. So, yeah. That's what y'all saw me do when I did the little punching thing. I just wanted to see how I can throw that hip like that. Like I said, if I was boxing, I could have thrown a hook, but I didn't want to throw a hook. But yeah, bro. You got to understand, nigga, I fought. You know what I mean? Niggas, I fought my life, bro. What? I had to learn this shit from fighting, though, too. Don't get it I'm twisted. The guerrilla warfare techniques. You ain't have to do that, Chaos. You didn't have to do that, my nigga. But yeah, bro. Nah, it's just, it is what it is, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, bro. I, I look, don't get it twisted to think that I'm trying to have proper form and everything when I fight in street fights. Right. I don't go think about anything like that. Me to but I, I don't know how much of this I can continue to let slide. What's up, Fuck bro? you, mean meat work? What? <laughs> you gonna be working his shit like Rocky was working those carcasses in the freezer of the butcher shop? We, huh? we, you a whole fruit cocktail. A whole fruit cocktail? We off that Dean Anonymous? Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Sage said, uh, Sage Charles said, uh, no, no. Hold on, let me read that. Boy, if you don't sit your old ass stiff as down, this ain't fight night, you vintage farm equipment. I'm just I'm just telling you what I learned in karate. Sage Shaozu said, you're right about that, Daquan. My friend knows uh, Wing Chun taught me to strike through. Yes, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Look, if, I was, if I'm able to hit a nigga with one of these, I'm never going to be able to do that. Bro, karate is going to teach you how to hit a nigga that's standing still. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> bro, I ain't Bruce Lee. Nigga, you think a nigga gonna stand there and be like, yeah, hit me. <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna stand there and, you know, think, you think a nigga gonna stand there and let me do that? Hell no. But if I do get the chance to do it, why you think when you saw me hit that shit, I went like this and went all the way through and I didn't pull back? But that is something I learned with experience because, look, I was in Italy, right? When I'm in Italy, dog, me and my niggas, we was known for fighting niggas, right? So we walking and this Italian nigga... He don't fuck with black niggas and, and uh, definitely American niggas. Because I ain't going to lie. We go over to Italy and be fucking all they bitches. I know they hate us, bro. They definitely hate the American niggas. We go over there and fuck all they bitches, right? So nigga telling us how much he don't like Americans and shit like that. And thinking he going to be able to walk past me and go to my niggas and talk shit to them. Because they all ahead of me. I'm right here acting like I'm tying my shoe. The nigga walked past me. I got up and went like this. This nigga dead ass looked at me like this. I was like, oh my God, bro. I couldn't believe that shit. Nigga, the nigga dead ass was like, after I punched him in his face, and I learned from then, never to hit a nigga like that again. Every other time I hit a nigga, I'm going to punch and make sure when I hit you, I'm going all the way through you. Because at the end of the day, maybe... You punched him like Kakashi punching through Obito. No, 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 no. It was, no, I didn't even, it was terrible. It was literally a, that's it. Nigga said, nigga had super armor. No, the nigga, I didn't hit him hard. Y'all have to understand, bro. Look, a lot of y'all punch like this. And look, every, most people do just like this. You see how you, you see how I'm coming right back? That's most people. Most people will punch like that. Throwing it and then coming right back. So if I'm jabbing like this, right? You see this? You see that? But I'm coming right back with it, right? 
Now, just imagine this. Now, the thing is, when I hit your face, this is what I had to learn through fighting. When I hit your face, I'm not... Maybe my punch ain't powerful enough to knock you out, but the force behind it, because I'm going to hit you, and I'm going to try to mush you all the way off. You know what I'm saying? And then once I do that, hopefully that knock you down. But yeah, bro, niggas don't understand. It's a lot of niggas out there that ain't, you ain't got the force to be able to punch a nigga. That's why you got to really force that shit through. You feel me? So yeah, I had to learn that shit, man. I had to learn that shit, bro. Nigga, what? I learned because I looked at a nigga and a nigga, I mean, I, I punched a nigga and a nigga looked dead at me. was like, yo, what the fuck? You all right? Like, bro, if that nigga could speak English like that, that nigga would have, yo, bro, you all right? Why, why you do that? Can you imagine, bro, if this nigga would have been like, yo, why you hit me? Like, nigga, oh my God, I would have cried. The fact that, no, but after this, though, one of my niggas, he wasn't used to fighting, right? Nigga ain't never fought nobody in his life, but he a military nigga, right? He Air Force. This nigga went like this, right? This nigga came around like this, right? So the same nigga was standing there in front if of me. If miss, income counterattack. Nah, so the nigga standing there in front of me, just looking at me, bruh. My nigga comes over there, he never fought nobody. This nigga went like this, DSG. This nigga, I'm telling you. He swung his fucking fist from all the way back here and ran with this motherfucker like this. I've never seen a nigga do this, bro. The nigga ran with this shit like this and just, this nigga hit the nigga with a resin gun, bro. That nigga said, that nigga was all the way back here with it, ran up on the nigga and said, no. I'm like, but drop them though. Bro, he hit this nigga so hard, the nigga was like, nigga did a haymaker. And felt, bro, the nigga took so long to fall and hit a wall. I was like, God damn. And when I tell y'all, he he drew that shit from all the way back here. Ran up and just. I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, bro. Shit is real. Yeah, man. <laughs> yo, for anybody. Yo, is anybody who don't believe me? Because like the thing is, I'll call my nigga right now. So he'll confirm this shit. If anybody don't believe me. I'm trying to tell you, that shit crazy. I'm like, bro, this is real shit. This, is, this shit really happened, bro. I couldn't believe the nigga really just the nigga drew that shit from all the way back here and just ran with it and just I'm like, dog, that's crazy. <sighs> cool Dino just said you don't believe me. Hey, hold up then. <laughs> hold up. Let's let's see something real quick. Let's see if my nigga pick up. If my nigga pick up, you gonna see it. If my nigga pick up, you gonna hear it. You gonna y'all gonna just so y'all know I ain't lying. Yo, hey yo, bro, real quick, right? Hey, dog, uh -huh. you remember that one time when we was in Italy, right? And um, that, that that Italian nigga was talking shit, and when I punched him, he just looked at me. Yeah. And then and then that nigga Kami walked up and, and swung on that nigga. Hey, that nigga took like a bunch of steps to oh, Y'all see? <laughs> nah, my stream thought I was lying, bro. <laughs> bro, nah, that nigga took like that nigga took like ten steps to the left, nigga. I was like, yeah. Damn. That nigga hit the electric I slide. I think that was the first time he punched anybody in his life. Do you see? I told y'all. I told y'all. Nigga, I told these niggas on my stream. Nigga said they didn't believe me. I'm like, no, nigga, it's real shit, bro. When I hit that nigga, nothing happened. That nigga Kami had to come all the way back with it. Swung on that nigga from like, bro, that shit was crazy the way he ran up on that nigga, bro. That crazy, my nigga. No bullshit. But yeah, nigga, I, I had to tell these niggas. Niggas thought I was lying. Nah, man, no fibbing over here, man. That's what I'm saying. Hey, yo, bro, I might have to holler at you because, like, I got, you know what I'm saying, make sure yeah, everything's yeah. straight, which is, you know what I'm saying, you're right now. Yeah, good luck, bro. I'm going to hit you. All right, my nigga. All right, bro. All right. Yeah, I told y'all niggas, bro. Y'all thought, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> yo, bro, I told y'all niggas, bro, this nigga really came from all the way back here with it and swung on a nigga like this and dropped him, though, bro. That, <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. Nigga, really? Hold on. Uh, somebody said, whoever said it was a paid actor, think about this. The fact that I didn't have to tell this nigga anything, how is that a paid actor? You didn't see me texting anybody or anything. How is that a paid actor? But the fact that this nigga swung like that, it was crazy. All right. All right. Let's finish up this video. Actually, like seeing a shark smelling blood in the water. And while I'm sure he was not punching him to cool it. Dino do say he in a stream. He don't watch streams. He wind that shit up like you 80s cartoon low. Nah, he really did though, bro. He don't watch streams though. His full power. For Sneeko to stand in and take that many shots off of his chin. 
and not go down against Yo, hard already. Thank you for that gift, my nigga. My bad. Has to be the biggest W that he's taken in a very long time. And there were some people out there actually trying to clown Sneeko for this. Like, if anything, I don't think Sean had to go so crazy on his ass. After this, he shared this tweet where he says love speech. And honestly, the face is not looking too bad for getting punched that many times. He also shared this where he says, I gave you guys the best content I was possibly capable of today. Yet the comments is just filled with complaining and crying. You see how they are blackballing me. If you want good content, you. I need your support now more than ever. Blackballing you? Look at the shit that you say. You say very weird shit. Nobody's blackballing you. You're making yourself, you know what I'm saying? To where you're making it to the point where people can't fuck with you, bro. Publicly. Look at, bro, you met Charles Barkley and thought to say to him, women belong in the kitchen. You're doing this to yourself, bro. Nobody's blackballing you. You're, you hurt brands. Say brands with me. I already know damn well most brands will not fuck with me. Look at the shit that I say. I'm cool with that. But I don't say the shit that you do that will definitely drive them away. With me, I just say certain things that it's like, like all of the brands that do want me, I'm just like, yo, bro, I don't feel like making my content sponsored and all this other shit. But you, like, bro, you, you can't get that. Brands will not fuck with you. We will win. I can't do it alone. Love speech 2024. And then he also shares this picture of his bloodied face. Sneaky Freak said, uh, yo, saying women belong in the kitchen is wild as fuck. That's what he said, though, bro, to Charles Barkley. Like, bro, I could see if you say it's a your stream. All right, you going to preach that because that's what you just normally used to doing. But, dog, the fact that you said that to Charles Barkley, the yeah. first time meeting him. So now that we're done talking about his W, let's talk about some of his L's. Let's talk As about he got L's. completely ignored by the two biggest streamers in the world. Cool Dino dude said, where that Red uh, Shadow Legends sponsorship at? I ain't gonna lie, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Nah, because I told y'all, bro. Yo, they hit me up so many times, but I told y'all niggas, bro. If Gentlemen, countrymen, and fiends alike. I, the progenitor of their chasm of clan, the chaotic contrarian. The leader of the Zesty Zords, the might of the Maidenless, There's the destroyer no of the that. Devil Gene, have returned from the hyperbolic time chamber in full power. What daquanic activity and chaos are we engaging in today? Yo, nigga, Kazama, bro, W's in the fucking chat. 5,000 bits. This nigga started a hype train and got us to level four with just one donation. Kazama, thank you for the 5,000 bits, bro. You still wanted to destroy your friend, so you gay as hell. Cause you damn you you wanted to get a nigga drunk and destroy him. You still gay. So I'm glad you said of the zesty zords. You know what I'm saying? The leader of zesty zords. But thank you for the five thousand bits. God damn, nigga. God damn yo, thank you, Kazama for real. Thank you. You still about gay as hell though. Instead of Kazama's blade, it still needed to be gay blade. But yo, thank you, my nigga. You still about gay as hell. Nice you know what I'm saying? Your heart already thinking for that gifted, bro. Appreciate you, my nigga. Castle Beast like, you never heard that sound before? I did, nah, we, we've had a... Uh, I think the most we've had was like 10,000 bits. And the nigga went like back to back with it. Nigga, cause I'm a one of a thousand, nigga! I'll be that, but I'll also put another 1k bits if you check the Discord for the anatomy of a right hook and other boxing exploits. <laughs> bro, 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 I just got on- gifted on it, too. I, bro, I, I just got back on Discord. My nigga Maniacs with the five gifts, it's nigga W's in the fucking chat! W's in the chat, yo, Kazama! I just got back on Discord. I check it, but I just got back on Discord today. DSG, we actually have an interview to do in, uh- in 14 minutes, so we kind of have to, you know what I'm saying? Yo, uh, yo, Saros, I don't know if, yo, Saros the God, I don't know if you mind if, you know what I'm saying, we finish this reaction because, it, it, you know what I'm saying, we got about six more minutes left. But, uh, yeah, um, no, we're not interviewing, no, uh, Saros the God is going to interview me. Can you please wait with Sneeko? Can you please wait with Sneeko? Shout out to them. Shout out to Scott. Shout out to the niggas, my nigga. Rabbit, thank you for the... Oh, I'm here for you, man. Yo, thank you, Saros. Thank you, Saros the God. I appreciate you understanding. W's in the chat for my nigga Rabbit with the five gifteds, nigga. Yo, thank you, Rabbit. I appreciate you, bro. I want gotta speed this up. You know DSG. I know, I don't know, but if he Another cool with it, we cool. To see you grease up someone. I'm good low. 
another 1K to see this thing grease somebody up. Yo, bro. Yo, Maniacs, thank you, my nigga. And Rabbit, thank you too, bro. And Kazama, thank you. Yo, Kazama, I'm going to check it out but um, in the Discord. But like I said, I just got back in there today. Give me some time to, you know what I'm saying, get familiar with it again. Level 6 fucking hype train, 37%. Thank y'all, bro. I appreciate y'all. Oh, shit, you got an interview? Yes, Blossom, and it's going to be some good content. Sarah's up, said, I, I've literally all night, so take your time. Yo, thank you, bro. I appreciate you understanding. Now, this is going to be good because this is about black content. You know what I'm saying? Uh, black content creators and black content. So, yes, this is definitely going to be a good interview. They're with you. Black Reninja just heard me say with Sarah's the God like 50 fucking times and said with who? You fucking... Black Reninja, you know what I want. I'm, I'm going to call you in the group chat. Black Reninja, I'm going to call you in the group chat. What a wise homie. What's good, bro? Because Black Reninja... Yes. You know what I want to call you. Okay. Thank you. Would an interview be on YouTube? So the thing is, um, I just want to make sure as long as Sarah's the God is cool with it, it will be... If I'm What I'm thinking is it will be on his so we can be able to increase the reach on his video. So I'd, I'd, I'd rather be on his page, but I don't mind. If it's on mine, if he don't mind, I'll definitely post it. I ain't going to lie. I want to post it. But if he doesn't, if he wants to, yo, indeed be on YouTube. Well, like I said, you know what I'm saying? If, if uh, you know, if, if he doesn't mind, I wouldn't mind posting it on the gaming channel. I'd like to. But uh, if he wants, he can. We, we can just have it strictly on his channel. I don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever he wants to do. You can post it too. All right. Thank you, Saros. Definitely it's going to go on mine then too. This is the JV on set requirements to be in a group chat. You got to just be a Nigga! face of a man who is about salty as fuck. I mean, not only did they ignore him, they went Shout out my nigga MMA fan. You feel me? <clears throat> this nigga MMA fan said like me. Before I'm too right? charged really? up, cool. I'm glad to be back. I low key missed the streams, but I was busy handling some important matters. Because I ain't going to lie. When you say shit like that, you kind of got to clarify. Because like we we don't know like. Cause I'm a, you can't just say you handling. Cause like say for instance, right? If you came in here and was like, yo, bro, I just got a new job. I'm a package change. Yo, chill. What you mean by that? You like, cause I'm a, you have to clarify everything that you say in this chat, bro. Cause you, you, you want some shit, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? You kind of riding that line. Like is the rainbow community. You know what I'm saying? The straight community. And then you, you kind of crossing that motherfucker. Like, say, for instance, bro, if you play Mario Kart, I know you pick Rainbow Road every time. And I know they had, I, and I know you paid for the DLC to get the other Rainbow Road, too. I know you did. You, you feel what I'm saying? Out of their way to make it known. Like, we are not f***ing with you. And this is the point where Sneeko started confronting various people, kind of asking them, like, why don't they like me? And even a moderator out here. Oh, he did that? I didn't know that. I just know uh, the Rumble people didn't allow Sneeko in there. And I know Kai and S um, Speed didn't fuck with him. Put him in check. What do you mean? What, what do you think? What do you think is happening? I don't know. They're just acting weird. What do, you, what do you think it is? I'm trying to figure it out. What, like, what's your analysis? Because I, I can't understand it. It might be because you're Chinese. No, people don't fuck with Sneeko because Where's of the things the that he says. Where's the N-word? Logic Pro X Gaming, thank you for the two months, my nigga. Appreciate you, bro. Shout out to you and your wife. I saw you suck a dick. Why would you do that? You saw him suck a dick? <laughs> And in that moment, this head moderator saw why no one's fucking with him. I mean, getting egoed by a Twitch mod isn't... I'm not gonna hold y'all. I still, to this day, don't know what egoed is. When I see y'all niggas saying shit like that, I'm like, yo, what the fuck do y'all be talking about? Insane. And then they would continue... The group chat sound lit, then the group chat is crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. It gets real hectic, but it's like you can't be offended by anything to be in a group chat. So if you want to be in a DSG group chat on Instagram, you have to not be like, I'm talking about anything. Don't come in there on some bullshit. Don't be on some like no bitch ass shit or anything like that. Whatever happens is it is what it is. Whatever's said in there, it is what it is. You can't come in there on any type of bitch ass shit at all. And you want to kick him out of this influencer VIP section at this event? All right, we're getting oh, he got kicked out. Oh, wow. We're getting Frank Castle. We're getting kicked. Right, we're getting Frank Castle. Wow. I mean, bro, that's what happens when you're weird. Good to see you, bro. Like, you know what you be saying. 
faking being a Muslim on other. You know what? You know what happens. Bro. That's Thanks. on you, Sneeko. Did we do something? We kind of deserve it. It's just insane. Like everyone on that side, none of them are Rumble streamers. Nobody. And and you're the Rumble streamer and can't even be with the Rumble crowd. Stop be stop trying to be a tape, bro. Sneeko, it's that simple. Stop trying to be a tape, and I promise you, you probably could have been there. Oh, full power, you say? Nah. DSG. Come to quote on. my fellow Gorilla King Hezekiah, What's this up, nigga bro? Kazuma has Hold made on. his return to the stream and garnered the strength of 1,000 Tyler Perry's. Tyler that is Perry's. fucking insane. Tyler Keep Perry's this shit bro? to yourself. We Tyler good Perry's? off that little nigga. Tyler Perry's though, bro? Where did you get that from? That cheeser nigga literally sucked a fake dildo on stream as some sort of joke. That... I, I didn't expect I that. I'm not going to hold him on I'm, Fresh and Fit in a while, nor have they mentioned him. Um, nah, they definitely be having the nigga on there still. They still fuck with him. Don't get a choice to Logic uh, Pro X Gaming. Even if they don't, like, put him on the podcast, they still be around him. Nigga, they was in Vegas with him. Like, bro, did you not see Fresh's story? You probably don't. You probably may not uh, follow them on uh, Instagram. Nah, they they had him. They was with Sneeko in Vegas. So yeah. I'm the Rumble streamer at a Rumble oh event. Me on this side. How does that make any sense? And for someone that makes sense because of the type of the type of content creator you are now. When you were a normal creator, everything was good. But now that you've you know what I'm saying gone so deep down this red pill rabbit hole, and trying to be exactly like Tate. And you're not Tate. That's your problem. You don't have the influence that Tate does, but you're trying to be him. That's the issue. Someone who seems so dependent on networking, and it's pretty obvious that he really cares about what other people's perception Yo, Javion, thank you, my nigga. Thank you, You know you, this bro. hurt this man's feelings. I mean, he even had to turn to Logan Paul's Yes Man for some advice, saying, Why don't they love me, Mike? They don't, they don't me. What, what is that? And you must know. Wow. Nah, man. All right, on some dead real shit, man. I'm going to stop with, like, just me straight up trying to hate on Sneeko because how he is now. This is sad to see, if I'm being honest, bro. I'm talking about because, like, if you know the type of content Sneeko used to post when he was on, you know what I'm saying, um, YouTube before he got canceled and everything like that, this shit sad as hell to see, bro, because he was a very good content creator. He could have been in all of these spaces and been invited and everything like that. It's just now he didn't he didn't go on so far down the red pill rabbit hole and trying to follow the tapes. This is where it's led him. I'm not gonna hold y'all, bro. Like he really had very good content. I I like he had a prosperous future ahead of him. And it's like, damn, bro, this is where he fell to. You have to ask people why people don't fuck with you. Damn, man. Cause I, I y'all don't understand. Like I don't like seeing Sneeko like this, bro. I know it may seem like, yo, man, I want, I don't want the worst for this nigga, bro. I'd much rather him, you know, what I'm saying, apologize for his actions and shit like that, and be like, yo, man, I, I was grifting, and that's not really me, whatever it is. But damn, man. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure, bro. I don't. I think everybody probably has a different reason for it. I'm not quite sure. Reach this you, point, you know. I think you take shots at people, and when you take shots at people, obviously they're gonna mark that and they're mental. A lot of people that I don't take shots at. Yeah, but it's just you. You do talk a lot of shit about people, and it's not like you're trying to be real with them. It's like you're just trying to tell your stream. Like with me, I have no problem being real with people. In general, as far as anything that you hear me say on these streams, I tell people. I don't know. I don't know. I can. But it seemed like you do it for content. It's like I will express just my genuine he really feelings. You do it for content. content before. He really did. Nowadays, bro. people call him an Andrew Tate clone, which is deserved. It is, because that's exactly what he's trying to be. He really had so much insightful content and everything like that. It just things that you sit there and you have to think about. It's like, damn, bro. Oh, I never thought about it like this. I never thought, of, man, he had so, even his uh one minute podcast. Y'all don't understand how, like, bro, man, I don't know how he, man, how did he get to this, man? I only speak for myself. Every debate that we've had, you've said some stuff that was over the line, but yeah. everybody does that. Sometimes it's jokes. Sometimes it's just... No bullshit, though, bro. Like I said, he doesn't understand. He's closing all of these doors. Like I said, bro, if you really walk up to Charles Barkley 
and think I have to tell him that women belong in the kitchen. Dog, like, you got to think, how far down this rabbit hole have I gone? Taking shots to try to get people to, yo, look at me, look at me, look at me, what you have to do, bro. You have to do that. So <clears throat> King Nonsense said, I think a woman broke his heart really bad. I mean, I think he went through red pill rage. I, I think he really didn't like seeing his girlfriend get fucked. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he liked it. He keeps saying, I think, oh, man, hey, I don't think he liked that shit at all. I think that maybe would have broke him. Basically, this guy did keep it pretty real with him and tell him, you know, all this attention-seeking behavior and trying to be so edgy and trying to be like the counter. That's his problem now, too, trying to be edgy. He wasn't trying to be edgy before. He was trying to be unique. He was actually trying to make just th thought-provoking content. And now he just tries to be edgy. He does have some content that I'm that I still watch every now and then, and it's and it's somewhat like his old uh, YouTube videos. But owner culture guy doesn't exactly make people want to gravitate towards you, especially when it seems like you're changing your opinions every other month. But also, but also, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people too that just don't want to be with somebody who's having conversations about the shit you're having. Conversations. Every other month is, of course, crazy. But I don't mind when people change their opinions because I change my opinions depending on. Um, if I may, if I may have learned something new, I will change my opinion on something. Especially, especially if you're going to correct me. If you're going to correct me on something that I'm completely ignorant of or wrong about, then yes, I will. I will change my opinion on it. And I do think that Mike is being very honest here. Like he brings up another great point. A lot of these people are likely trying to have a good time, and they don't want to be filmed on stream and ask these controversial questions about things that they like. Thank you, Ryder Ryder Brick Brolik said. If we didn't change our opinions, we'd still be children. Facts. Blit comment. Blitz uh, comment said. Uh, oh, Sneeko comes full circle and goes uh, back to his OG vids. I'm not gonna lie. I think he's too lost. If I'm being honest with you, and plus, he capitalizes so much off of the uh, the neon community. Why would he go back to his old comp his old content? He's going to lose out on all those dudes and they're going to be like, oh, you changed on us. And it's like, come on, bro. Likely could not give a f about. Like, have y'all ever tried to be around someone who only seems to want to discuss, like, pressing social hot button topics? It bro, and I reached that point myself, dog. Oh, my God. I reached the point that it's like, yo, every conversation I'm talking about it, it's things that I can, I, I discuss in content. I reached that point before. It can just become draining very fast. I mean, I'm sure we... Yeah. It, it 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 made me understand why people wouldn't want to talk to me. All had that buddy who we used to really enjoy spending time with. That's a but fact, then he rabbit. Gets on his like <clears throat> conspiracy theory soapbox, and after a while, it's like, Black dude, Ninja, I get what so? you're saying. There might even be some merit to some of your talking points, but I couldn't really give a f and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. And I guess this whole situation was really just eating him up inside. As he even turned to DJ Academics for some words of advice on why no one wants to be around him. What do you think about those like ego clips? Like people, like, what do you think about that? You probably have a take about that. Yes, you know what my community thinks it is? See, didn't, if I'm not mistaken, uh, not too long ago, didn't uh, someone in the chat just say Fresh and Fit don't have him on the podcast? I told you he's with them. He's still with them. They think it's this. They think it's what I talk about. This is Wolf Cypher said, I need to figure shit out. The fuck is a neon? I'm getting old. A neon is a perfect cell. Uh, just a person who can't get women, and instead of them trying to improve on themselves to get women, they just hate on other men for actually getting them, and they research shit about, uh, you know what I'm saying, why they can't get women. Neon is a streamer that is exactly that. He's never gotten women before he had money and shit, and now he only gets OnlyFans girls that he says is, are demons, are soulless demons. Yet he dates them because those are the only women that will show him attention because he's a streamer. This is a Palestinian. Of being a free Palestine. You know, if you look at their managers and you look, I don't want to get too deep into that, but they, they think that's the reason. And that's the reason why I'm saying Sneeko, he's really trying to be exact like Andrew Tate. Did you see what Sneeko had to say about the Super Bowl? He said exactly what Tate said. And that's one thing I really don't understand about some like, literally of these exactly, Red Pill guys is that they just seem so desperate for attention or validation from other men. Like if you're a... Hey, yo, DSG, uh, yo, Romulus Live said, would you put on an up-and-coming streamer? Everybody in here, y'all tell me. Because y'all already know my community. So, DSG, y'all go ahead and answer that question for him, bro. Y'all answer that question for him, and y'all tell... Why do, Why would you delete his message? Black Ninja, what the fuck? No, I wasn't asking y'all to troll. I wasn't asking y'all to troll. I was asking y'all to be serious. 
I'm I'm not I wasn't saying for niggas to troll. I meant answer him serious. Cause y'all seen that's all I do. I don't try to rate other streamers that are big and shit. I'm talking about being I'm being serious. To quote a verse from the Quran and he couldn't do it. Well, of course. That that's definitely believable. Nah, but no, um, nah, everybody try I'm not talking about DSG trolling. No, I'm talking about bro, y'all only see me try to help uh up and coming streamers. I don't sit there and try to say, yeah, let me raid all of these niggas. What the fuck am I going to raid Kai for? That's what I'm saying. That nigga, no. I actually help up and coming streamers for real. Grown man, to me, the only other male's opinion you should care about in regards to yourself is your father or your grandfather. And maybe some of your Yo, nah, Jamari, come on, bro. We consecrators. We know we have to care about, you know what I'm saying, a lot of shit. We have to care about other people's opinions of us and things like that. Come on, bro. We know this. Friends who've known you for like your entire life. They're not that meticulous. And I can understand why we get to Sneeko. Granted, maybe he shouldn't care about all of these other people, but I can understand why I can get to him. Like, you know what I'm saying? This, this, I can understand, bro. Dog, just imagine this, right? Imagine you go somewhere like this and nobody fucks with you people ignoring you and shit like that and then you get all of these like bro think about this for everybody who doesn't know how it is the like the scrutiny we face as a content creator the things that we're subjected to i even tell y'all all the time bro i never in my life thought yo you have receding hairline it was y'all niggas y'all may be insecure about that yeah i never thought about that but every time i'm streaming i have hundreds of people telling me yo your hairline's going back your hairline's and they're not even when i'm streaming um, when I post videos, your hairline this, your hairline's that. Your, I've never heard that in real life. That wasn't a happening in my real life. It was y'all that made me insecure about that shit. I can completely understand why Sneeko, um is, you know what I'm saying, dealing with this and why he would go around asking this because think about this. Imagine that just happening to you. You may not want to ask people, but then just imagine you see one person post a video and he got two point something million views on you getting ignored. Then that may make you start thinking about it a little more. Damn, bro, I really did get ignored. You probably didn't think about that before, but now you think about it because two million people are talking about it. And just imagine every time you log on, like, look, I keep my notifications off on all social media platforms. My notifications are off. If I kept them on, you know how insecure I'd probably be? Bro, if I post- Where's the n You'll cast a beeswax. Thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate that. If I post a video- Y'all really thought I'm insecure. Nigga, cook my black ass. I'm about ugly as hell. If y'all niggas don't get to cooking me, nigga, the fuck is y'all talking about, bro? Don't, there's no way how y'all niggas gonna sit there and be like, you ain't gonna cook me. Y'all niggas better cook my black ass. The fuck is wrong? The fuck is wrong with y'all niggas, bro? If y'all niggas don't get to cooking me, the fuck. I gotta put this shit back on. But yeah, nigga, but yeah, I ain't think about that shit like that until I'm streaming. I don't be thinking about that shit like that. For real, man. But y'all niggas better cook my black ass the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And it's only because I ain't shaved my shit. If I'd have shaved my Damn. shit, it would look under the ball. When did CeeLo Green start doing the witch? CeeLo Green, facts. I had that facts, one facts, from facts, last time. Facts. That's what's up. That's the nigga called me CeeLo Green. That's what's up, Kazama. The last up, hairbender. See what I'm saying? Now think about it. This is the type of shit I'm subjected to when I stream. And I take this motherfucker off, bro. This what happened, bro. Nigga, before I thought, yo, my shit was I. Right. God damn my eyes, I just came back. Cover the basketball. Yo. Do y'all see what I be mean there, bro? This type of shit to be happening. We gotta finish this video so we can get to the interview, y'all. Like smooth concrete. Yo, yo. Nigga, hair hairline still suffering. Yo. Here we go. I, I know this is gonna happen. I don't want to cook you because I don't want Will Smith slapping me too. Yo. Nigga call me Batista Wilshire. <laughs> Here we go. I know you ain't talking, but Daquan would help other streamers and even other plug channels. A real nigga. If a plug yeah, channel nah. posts something, I would premiere it. Yo, thank you. Hard and ready. I appreciate that. I definitely was trying Lord, to help. do you want your biscuit looking ass? Do I want your biscuit? Like you said, I'm a nigga from, uh, from life. All right. All right. Your cornbread, actually, not your biscuit. All right, let's get back to this, though. It's like, I don't want to hurt my brand. Nah, bro, they cool. They normal people. And Academics is keeping it real with him, too, because Sneeko's trying... That is true. Sneeko doesn't understand. He hurts a lot of people's brands, bro. And no bullshit, bro. I told y'all, a lot of these content creator friendships...
you got the game fucked up if you don't think most of these content creators will put their brands before they put a friendship. For a split second, I'm not I thought even going... Dickon hairline was recovering. Like goddamn. Shout out my nigga Tian. Yo, I'm not even going to mention who or anything like that. But we all saw how quick these these content creators will put their brands before they put their friends. We saw. We all watched it happen. I'm talking about... This nigga said better war peace hairline. Can we just can we just let that shit go? Hood hood, hood ninja, this is your first time chatting. You just had to come ahead to say that. That's what's up. That's what's up. But um, but yeah, we all saw that shit though, bro. Yo, that's why I say at the end of the day, a lot of people don't understand. I will always fuck with Fresh and Fit because them niggas do not care about a brand. They care about the relationships they form with people. Them niggas are loyal, bro. No bullshit. Those are the only content creators I've seen. Be, not the only. One of the only content creators I've seen be real as shit and be loyal as hell. Trying to come from his... I'm just saying facts. Nico did do it to himself. And that's his fault. And now he... This is what he has to face. You know what I'm saying? Because he did that. To approach like, oh, I'm too much of a brand risk for them to be friends with me. When you have this guy pulling his dick out on stream every other week. It's like he can't possibly... I was, nigga, Sneeko pulls his dick out on his stream? Sneeko, do you know your fan base are mostly like teenagers and shit? He's pulling his dick out? What the fuck? They get it through his head that they just don't want to be around him. Bro, yo, this is what you can't let the internet and live streaming. Was he speaking like figuratively? Like a little girl back and forth. Yo, you ignore Sneeko, Sneeko look lame. A lot of a lot of people would say Sneeko lame as hell. That nigga's weird, all types of shit. You can't even lie and say you don't care. You do care. Who cares? We talk about you care. Uh, that, nigga, real shit. Shout out to academics for keeping it a band, nigga. No bullshit. That nigga say you talk about it. You care. Yo, shout out nigga act. Shout out to nigga act. That nigga kept a band with that nigga. Nigga, nigga try to lie and say, who cares? That nigga said, nigga, you do. Nigga, you talk about it. Fuck wrong with you. Shout out to Act. That was some real shit. And I got to run that back just to hear that again. Shout out to Academics for saying some real shit. Oh, sneak on the that was real shit. I really don't care anymore, bro. Who cares? We talk about you, kid. <laughs> real shit, nigga. Real shit, nigga. Thank you, Act. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you. You do. You care. Cares, no matter what he says. It Thank just you. feels like the dude who's extra salty like that he that. lost his spot at the popular kids table. But it's like, dude, this is not high school anymore. Like I said, I know networking is a big part of his brand and his continued success. No bullshit. But that's another reason why I told you about content creator relationships and being like, you know what I'm saying? Clout based and everything like that. It's a lot of us content creators that didn't have. We don't. We're not a uh, risk for brands or anything like that. It's just niggas didn't have the the same clout the niggas did before. And uh, certain people don't want to fuck with you because you ain't got that clout. Online. But it's just funny to me that him getting ignored by other men is Nah, facts. I, um, I keys revenge. Facts. Yo, thank you, Jay Buck. I appreciate that, my nigga. Thank you, Jay Buck. When I don't shave, I got a whole cul-de-sac. Glass house, you know. Well, maniacs, you a real nigga for that, bro. Thank you. Because, like, you see everybody always want to just try. I ain't going to lie. You see my shit, bro. I got to. I ain't going to take this motherfucker off again, but goddamn. I look way better bald. Let's just say that. Because I'm not going to lie. When I took this motherfucker off, I was even looking at myself like, damn, this thing about ugly as hell. Nigga aged at least about 10 years as soon as the nigga took it off. I saying the nigga. That's how you know damn well I don't even like it being me. Soon, Like, I keep saying the nigga. It, I am the nigga. But... It, you know what, man? Let's not talk about it. Myron, but I gotta give respect to you, Fresh. Sneeko gives respect to Myron uh, and Fresh for not sneaking him like other friends. What did I just tell y'all not too long ago? What did I just tell y'all? These niggas don't care about clout, none of that shit, bro. I told y'all niggas. Real niggas. Look, everybody in here is so many people that don't, don't fuck with Fresh and Fit. Oh, no, they faked it, this and that. But guess what? They real friends have never said they fake. Bro, niggas all the time. Well, nah, they don't even, they don't practice what they, but but at the end of the day, none of their real friends ever said any shit about them, bro. Real shit, bro. Glad I kept it real with this lame ass motherfucker. He definitely did but keep it real. fuck Ak as well. <laughs> okay, Demir. But yeah, man. Yo, shout out to Fresh and Fit. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Fresh and Fit, some real ass niggas, bro. Fresh, Aaron, Thank of you. course. Like, you know, a lot of people have snaked me, man. There's like people that I used to be friends with for years. And because you had clout-based relationships.
This is how it work when you have content creator friends. Why y'all think I tell y'all all the time I do not have a lot of content creator friends? I do not fuck with these niggas. Fresh and fit are my niggas. I fuck with them. I don't fuck with a lot of these niggas though. It's a lot of niggas I do fuck with as content creators. I don't like naming them all. I ain't gonna keep doing that, but I'm just saying, fresh and fit some real ass niggas, bro. Like now, you know, even people that like you, you stand up for when they're at their lowest point. It's what did I tell y'all? I, I already told y'all that's exactly what Myron and uh, Fresh do. That's exactly what they do. They're still staying with you, bro. As soon as they're hold on, uh, yo, uh, hold on, uh, yo, uh, Price's Paradigm said, uh, I noticed that Sneeko was very untrustworthy as a as a personal friend, uh, with uh, with how bad of a friend he was to Young Don Reborn. See, I didn't I didn't even get to see their uh, you know what I'm saying their friendship dynamic or anything like that. Uh, Blossom said, I don't fuck with academics either, but he did, uh, he did say some real shit to Sneeko though. Facts. Roddy Roddy Brickwell Leak said, I don't fuck with, uh, their content. Everybody, bro, it's crazy. You just keep saying, I don't fuck with every, you're, this is crazy. I, I haven't seen, I don't fuck with this many times in the chat. You know what I'm saying? In a while. I don't fuck with their content, uh, but they real as fuck. Two things can be true. I don't have any personal problems with them, uh, though they, uh, though, cause, uh, I don't know them personally. Nah, but a lot of people be acting like, you know what I'm saying? They don't fuck with these niggas because they know them. It's like, bro, I know these niggas in real life, bro. These niggas, they content is content. But at the end of the day, like, they some real niggas, bro. I fuck with Myron the Fresh. Sneeko, a whole bitch ass nigga. And he, and he dug that hole himself. But yo, Myron the Fresh, still some real niggas at the end of the day. Up, and as soon as they don't need you, they turn their back on you. Literally. One of the biggest. I've already told y'all about that. How content creators are. Yes. If they can't. Capitalize off of your clout, they good off you. I mean, I literally think this. Reggie said, weren't you friends with uh, Young Don? I still am. The fuck? Me and Don, we ain't been talking because I ain't gonna lie. The last time me and Don talked, I'm like, bro, look, Don, you my nigga. I'm not religious, and me and Don was talking, and then he was like, yo, bro. I'm gonna pray for you. And I'm like, yo, I appreciate that because I dead ass did. But I didn't expect that nigga to talk that long, bro. Like, dog, I I had to mute the phone. I walked off and shit. I came back. This nigga still over there. Nah, I'm your whore. I don't know what the fuck he was saying. The nigga kept talking. I was like, dog, what the fuck? When I, I thought when he said he was gonna pray for me, the nigga was gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna pray for you. I fuck with you. Yo, shout out to God. You know what I'm saying? All the real niggas out there. No, this nigga was just. I, I was like, yo, how many Bible verses did you read? I don't know what he, I don't know if the, like, bro, all the shit he was saying, I didn't know if he was reading it. I didn't know what was going on, but it was just like, after that, I was like, yeah, if that nigga called me, I don't know if I could pick up. Because I don't want to have to go through that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, I just don't know. Because like, if you're going to pray for me again, just, just say, just say, I'm going to pray for you. Say grace. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, bro. Don has a good heart, smiley face. He do though, dead ass. to me like if he doesn't like you, it's your fault. Nah, I didn't say you don't have a good heart. It's just, I don't want to have to sit through that, through that shit again. Like, God damn, bro. I thought I was at like Bible study. The, the nigga, he wouldn't stop. But like, yo, Don is a real ass nigga though, bro. Man, is heartbroken. And in this yeah. internet game, it's so easy to like have your friendship fall apart, especially if you read and listen to everybody, everything that people say. Yeah, yeah, facts, of course. But Grizzly Fanatic said, it's crazy how you would rather talk to your community over these big streamers. Bro, I'm not that type of nigga that needs these big streamers. You Where's me, the N-word? Shikashi, nigga, thank you for the 21 months, bro. There's a, there's a, a video of him performing an exorcism. Now I'm not gonna watch that because I know I'm gonna laugh too much, and I don't want Don to think that like I find what he's saying like okay. it's like a joke. Bow our heads. Let us pray. Three hours later. Hell no. Now I, I'm not gonna watch that because I'm gonna laugh, and I know I will, and I don't want Don to be like, "Yo, fuck this nigga." You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Um, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you know what I'm saying? My nigga Don, he a real nigga, but yeah, nah. But um, yo. Grizzly Fanatic, yo, that's how I always will be, though. MMA fan said, that's why I stayed in DSG so long, because of how involved you are in our lives. Nah, no bullshit, bro. I'd much rather... Bro, you see, every time I said I'm going to play a game, did you see me say, yeah, yo, let me hit up RDC World. Let me hit up Dante. Let me hit up Berlizzi. I say, yo, which one of y'all niggas want to do it? Like, yo, how, how we play this? Let's play it together. You, nigga, when we play Fortnite, I'm playing with Crow. Did you see me say, yo, I got to play with a nigga that plays Fortnite? Let me, let me go try to hit up Ninja. No, nigga. Bro, I'd rather, I'd much rather play with my community, nigga. Bro, I'm not one of these niggas that want to, 
know what I'm saying? Get my audience off of other niggas, bro. I'd much rather say, yo, I fuck with y'all niggas. Let's go ahead and do this together, bro. Fuck you talking about, man. Bro, I, I've okay, seen man. so much fake in yeah. this industry, especially like when I come to Vegas. And I King Nantos, you just about as gay as Kazama for that one. Everybody look at King Nantos' last comment. You just about as gay as uh, Kazama for that. LA. I mean, if you expected realness from Los Angeles and the people who hang out there, the clout demons, you were sadly mistaken. Yeah, I guess the core message of this video is just up. that obviously the ego can be a very fragile thing. And if you put yourself in a position to let your ego be affected by other men, I just don't. You can't just say that, Jamari. I, well, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a content creator. This is for content. Like I said, I don't think it's just his ego being affected by other men. It's the fact that it's getting posted and now he has millions of people that are affecting his ego. Y'all don't understand. Bro, look, dog, there's been some videos I posted that had more dislikes than likes. If y'all don't think that does something to me, nigga, what? Just imagine you thinking you're going to... Lance is joining the King of Iron Fist tournament date. Just... Because I'm... I don't want it. Yo, it's like everything you say is gay. I don't get it. Like, Kazama, it's like you try to say some normal shit, but it always sound gay. Why I gotta be the Iron Fist? Like, bro, you, I don't, like, I don't get it. Yo, Kazama, everything is gay with you. you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it couldn't have been queen of it. it, it why everything gotta always end up with, like, 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 come on, bro. Yo, Yo, Kazama, you ain't got to always take it there. But damn, nigga. But not no bullshit, though, bro. Like I told y'all, a lot of this shit will fuck with you, but y'all aren't subjected to it because y'all aren't content creators. I've had plenty of videos, you know what I'm saying, with a whole bunch of dislikes and then a whole... Bro, look. Why you think I told the Wilshire to, to take down those videos, certain videos of me on, on his channel? You don't think the comments fuck with me? Bro, do you not realize some of the shit that people what say about you? What do you mean you? by Iron Fist? Don't That's what I'm trying to, to say. He will fruit tease a bum you. I don't know. A fruit tease the bomb is crazy. But nah, yeah, nah. Y'all don't understand. That shit, that shit can do something to y'all. Say, for instance, right? Just imagine you go through life and one person calls you ugly. You cool with that. Oh, one person called me ugly. Now just imagine you got a million people calling you ugly in one day, in an hour. That's what I'm saying. Just imagine that. Imagine what that would do to your ego. Imagine what that would do to your confidence if you had a million people calling you ugly in one hour. Yeah. Just imagine what that would do to you. So that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, y'all don't understand the things that uh, content creators are subjected to, bro. The scrutiny that we're, that we're subjected to, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. The scrutiny we're under is crazy. Anything we post, why do you think I try to make myself look my best on my videos? Do you not realize when I was looking the way I was before, every time I'm talking, I always have somebody... With the way you look, who the fuck, who the fuck are you to talk? I always had that. I didn't care because um, I always, uh, I always had more positive comments than negative. But those negative, I told you, it still affect you. Look, you have to go through your life and nobody tells you anything. Nobody tells you anything negative unless you talk to somebody. Just imagine you post some shit and you think that you did your best, and you have ten people that said you did good. And then one person saying, this is ass. You know, the first thing you're going to be thinking, why the hell did you even have to say that? If you thought it was ass, did you have to comment it? But guess what? You're still showing that shit more attention than you are all of those positive comments. And just imagine you got 10 good comments and you got 20 bad comments. See what I'm saying? Like I said, people don't bother to think about it like that. Oh, nah, you shouldn't care about what other people think. It's real easy when nobody gives a fuck about what you think. And nobody gives a fuck about you at all. Nobody talks about you or anything. When you have tens of thousands of motherfuckers. Has a don't scroll down rule. Says he just drops shit and moves on. Um, I forgot what other content creator actually uh made me start thinking like that. They said, yo, don't look at comments. Y'all know me. I love reading comments, bro. I had to stop reading comments for a while. Bruh. It was so many comments I'd read that's so that's always uh you know what I'm saying uplifting me. And then that one person that hates on me, I'm gonna focus on that. Because it's like, damn, why did you have to say that? Or they bring up an insecurity or some weird shit. Like I said, it's so much random shit that y'all had to tell me about myself that I didn't know. Nigga, I didn't know about me talking about on the side of my mouth too. Niggas pointed it out. And then when niggas pointed it out, I'm looking at myself all the time saying, damn, 
You know what I'm saying? And then you'll you, you, you think that, you know what I'm saying, you feel like you're confident in your face and shit. And then all of a sudden, while I'm streaming, I got I mean, not streaming, um, I'll post a video. Oh, your, your, your uh, mustache don't grow on all the way? Damn. So you notice that? Okay. Oh, yo, and then you post a video, you thinking that you just being funny. Yo, why your skin look like that? Not me, but other people. That's what people, this is the type of shit that we at the face as content creators, bro. Dog. You can sit there and go to your barbershop and get a haircut and think that is the best haircut. But <laughs> y'all already know what's going to happen if you post your shit online. You post your shit online, you got plenty of motherfuckers cooking your ass. I'm talking about bread. You could have a good hairline. Motherfuckers would, we already know as black people, we would cook a motherfucker if their hairline too sharp. Nigga, everybody used to cook Steve Harvey for his hairline being too sharp. Bro, if your hairline too good, niggas gonna cook you for it being too good. Fuck this nigga think he is, bro. Where you get his shit lined up at on Roblox? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, niggas gonna cook a nigga, man. I'm trying to tell you. So, but yeah, man. Say, for instance, with KSI, in his real life, he probably don't have anybody talking about his head. His, I ain't gonna hold you. KSI forehead is crazy. But in his real life, he probably ain't got anybody doing that. But every time he posts a video, if his hairline accidentally shows, Saluminati went bald. Do you think Saluminati went bald because in his real life, people were talking shit about his hairline? Saluminati is a very famous content creator. Do you think it was more people in his real life or people on his YouTube talking shit about his hairline? K.O. says same shit with ESTG. <laughs> Now you see what I'm saying? And ESTG real life definitely with him being like the nigga he is. I'm pretty sure niggas not walking up to ESTG like, God damn, nigga. But online, you gonna do it? Let me tell you, you know what is crazy? What's Most crazy? Most people don't care about the bad things that are happening to us. They're just happy it's not happening to them. Facts. You're not lying about that. That's some real shit, bro. I don't think it's always gonna end very well for you. But y'all let me know what you guys think. Is there some hidden agenda against Nico at this point? Nah. Or do you think people just he got kind of tired what he of deserves. his antics? As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Dropping a like and subscribe. Yo, shout out to Jamari, bro. W video, bro. W video is just that, you know what I'm saying? Certain things he did talk about that were out of context. Um, and like I said, uh, as content creators, we already know the scrutiny that we face and shit like that. So, yeah, bro. But, yeah, shout out to Sneeko. Shout, I mean, not shout out to Sneeko. Shout out to Jamari. Shout out to Jamari. That was a good video. All right, DSG, it's about that time for this interview. It's about time. Yo, Saros, you ready, bro? You ready, my nigga? DSG, it's about time we get to this interview. My black ass is about to get interviewed, bro. I can't even believe it's about to happen.